Here's my top 10 rap songs written for movies. The whole song is about the Adams Family. The music video has the actors from the movie in it. I think it, it looks like it was filmed on its set. So that, that is a quintessential movie rap song collaboration. LL Cool J, Be Real, Coolio, Method Man, and Busta Rhymes. And you know what? It's quite the jam. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. The song was a scene in the movie. Enough said. And let's be honest, you could go to a backyard party, throw in that song, and people will be jamming out, not even remembering that it was part of a movie in the first place. I had this soundtrack. A lot of good songs on it. And if it wasn't for this song, we wouldn't have this iconic moment. No matter how you feel about Will right now, he had a lot of summer movies that had some bangers, and Men in Black, probably the top one for me. I mean, doing that, just slide with it, just slide with it. That got me a lot of friends when I was in high school. Now, this is a case where the song really is part of the movie. The Oscar goes to... <laughs> it's hard out here for a After doing a little research, Julio actually wrote this song about the kids in the movie. And let me take you back in time to this moment of this music video. Michelle Pfeiffer was in it. This is a time when rappers and A-list actors didn't really hang out. So it's a big moment. But big moments create iconic songs, and this is an iconic song. Talk about movie song that goes the distance. Part movie song, part rap song, it starts with him writing as the character and then goes into him being him. It's been covered by everybody, from Taylor Swift to Justin Bieber to Ed Sheeran to hype up people at their concerts, even a presidential candidate. And it was performed at the Super Bowl. And according to 50 Cent, there was an offer of $8 million for Eminem to perform this at the World Cup in Qatar. And let's not even talk about mom spaghetti. Tonight's the night I get in some shit. Now you might be saying, wait a minute, that's not even the best banger on the list. True, but without that song, you don't get Death Row Records, you probably don't get the explosion of West Coast Hip Hop and G-Funk, you definitely don't get that Super Bowl moment, and who knows how Hip Hop history would have changed. Deep Cover is like the first Iron Man movie. It created an entire universe. So that's my list. Did I miss any? Let me know.